Hello everyone. My name is Ovaro Tet, the founder of Road Safety and Safe Driving Practices. 2021, a loved one is not coming back home. Reason, stunts played on the road. Motorcycle riding Ai, is a responsibility. A very, very big responsibility that we all need. In this video, we see a rider who is well versed with safety from the gear that they are dressed in. You see the type of bike that is in play. But unfortunately, the cry of the woman is painful. It means a loved one is not coming back home alive. He won't be brought back home probably for the very last time to be buried i urge every motorcycle rider i said earlier we have two categories of riders we have the passion or private riders and then we have the economic riders in this case it is a sad reality that road carnage is killing, road carnage is robbing. Who knows, even if he said bye to his family that he will never come back. But probably I believe he told his loved ones, I will come back, I will come back. Unfortunately, he is not coming back, but will be brought back dead. He seems to have been doing this, and this I classify under exceptional safety violation. What is an exceptional safety violation? It has two ends. You do exceptional things, hoping for two different results. Nobody wishes for the fatal result. So he pulls a stand, as you can see, does it well, until a fraction of a minute, a fraction of a minute, when he's going now to bring back the, the steering wheel of that motorbike to the ground, and then he lands, his landing is not good, and he misses this, shakes all over, hits head on with a truck, and from the impact you can feel it. He is not going to survive it. The cry of the woman is once again heard. Not to send joy, but to send grief, weeping, and mourning. Was this avoidable? Yes. If he decided to, to ride safely, if he decided not to play games on a live road, he's a good rider. From what I can see, the stance he knows and probably has trained and practiced for a long time. But was it even worth to have such on a live road? Was it even thoughtful to have such on a busy highway? Exceptional safety violations have two results. On the first end, you are considered a hero, you are considered amazing, you are considered a person who should be put on the Guinness Book of Record. But on the other hand, it never ends well. It's always fatal. That is the end result 
we see here. Countries like Zambia don't have economic riders. Countries like uh, Jordan, they don't have economic riders. They only have passionate riders. Countries like Rwanda have economic riders. We call them our border border people. Uganda have them. But you find that a country like Rwanda, they are well regulated. And we are seeing a trend that is coming. People doing stunts on live roads, not even able to identify the hazards, not even able to identify the dangers. Remember, I keep saying road safety are measures put into place to help reduce possible death. That was a possible death achieved. It would be unachieved if the measures were put into place. Possible injuries. Nobody was injured. This time it was a death. Possible damage to property. That truck was damaged, the bike was damaged, and to the environment. I urge you guys, let us embrace road safety. 2020, I am here for you. Remember, subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Twitter. Follow me on, you, on, on, on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to this channel for more and educative lessons. Thank you.